Once upon a Friday dreary, while I pondered, bored and leery, over many shelves of trinkets from a children's store. While I looked, lollygagging, suddenly I felt a nagging, as of a toy that needed slagging, sagging on my bedroom floor. A beast machine, I muttered, messing up my bedroom floor. Only this, and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember, it was a cold November, when the postman brought this horror to my front door. I felt my sorrow, why not bring this tomorrow? This thing I wouldn't even borrow, keeping me from what I adore. From the rare and radiant I found at many a toy store, displayed here forevermore. But from what I could glean, this one lone beast machine irked me, jerked me around like no toy had ever done before. So soon after this meeting, I find this bird is in need of beating. I'll give it a proper greeting on my black stage of reviews galore. Yet one more meeting on my black stage of reviews galore. One review, and nothing more. Of course the first thing I see, the first thing nagging at me, is the toy's color scheme that could make any eye sore. My stomach does sicken looking at this rainbow chicken, a bird that is stricken by the most gaudy of decor. At least with Takara, the proper color scheme you could restore. Purple, blue, and nothing more. What I find upon further peering is a massive flaw of engineering, appearing to be some form of bird unlike any I have seen before. For if I had to take a swipe and somehow guess this fowl's type, then no amount of hype would lead me to say it was a condor. Something with arms that big can't be a bird, no matter what you implore. The design just leaves me sore. And what makes it worse is how his proportions seem to reverse. The huge arms and scrawny chest are totally uncalled for. Surely, said I, surely this toy must have been produced prematurely, rushed through design and thrown out the back door. To sit on the shelves, ignored and unsold at a toy store, tis lazy design and nothing more. And amidst this toy's clutter, there is a theory I must utter, for it may have been a different beast in days of yore. A condor he may not have been, but perhaps he was a griffin. Possible, but to my chagrin, this one needs a trip to a candy store, for as much as I want a robot griffin. One this skinny I would never pay for. Alas, this thing is still a bore. But this rainbow bird beguiling my cruel fancy into smiling. For it withstands my lashing so well, I almost feel a rapport. Despite knowing I was a master of reviewing items of plastic disaster, still it has sought for a safe haven within my bedroom door. Tell me, why thou journeyed all the way to my Floridian shore, quoth the chicken. Review more. It spoke this so plainly. It didn't want to be treated humanely? Not that I minded. I would curse it till my lungs were sore. But tis such a twist to be reviewing a plastic masochist. Could this abomination of plastic have more horrors to explore? If this is what the foul foul wishes, he and I shall go to war. I shall give thou a little more. Upon giving it a second glance, I notice a new detail by chance, a flaw unmistakable that I can't believe I had not noticed before. Could this toy be so inferior to have a head sticking from its posterior? Anything would be superior. What worse ailment could you ask for? A case of potus manus at its worst would be an easier chore. Then the toy said, Review more. Its brain must be broken. What else have I left unspoken? Perhaps robot mode will have more horrors in store. Ugh, I wish I could finish this quicker. This mode makes me even sicker. As much fun as a broken headmaster, I fear I'll begin to snore. Transforming by cartwheeling, great. 
another Optimus Minor flipping ever more. The bird is still beguiling, but I have lost my mood for smiling, as I observe articulation that, I must admit, deserves no bad score. Though he seems designed for skipping, albeit with much tripping, as he seems limping with backwards knees and no heels to hold the floor. Such a sorry, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and badly made toy of yore. Why wish me to review more? This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing, as I observe how much of it is made of the clear plastic I abhor. I try to look for a silver lining, for designs that need no refining, but those hopes are declining. He seems pregnant with the head of a condor. How did that get no realigning? A little effort in design is all I ask for. Need I really say more? Sadly, I find I must still speak, as this toy's design grows more bleak, as his bird feet have become hands big enough to palm a wild boar. His proportions are terrible to see. An accurate toy was my only plea. Respite. I need respite from this bird lest I begin to roar. Its review has been complete. Return to where it stood before. Quote the bad toy. Review more. Fine, said I. Thing of evil. You want more? Let's get medieval. I left out the gimmick, his wings he should be using to soar, making a shield to defend, although it looks like he's fanning his girlfriend. The switch lets it extend, making a sword that could cause no gore, a weapon so useless no warrior would ever want to ask for. Quote the bad toy. Review more. No, said I thing of evil. No more, I'd rather eat a weevil. With a robot mode miscolored, poor engineering, errors galore. A condor mode so deformed, to merely be okay, it must be reformed. This painful plastic you'd have to be colorblind to adore. I want this thing gone, crushed under the hammer of Thor. Quote the bad toy. Review more. My sanity started departing. My realization was just starting. This toy was trying to corrupt me to my very core. I have left nothing unspoken, so here I stop before I'm broken. This isn't worth an arcade token, not even for the hardcore. I can no longer tolerate it. Someone give me a block of C4! Quote the bad toy. Review more. And the toy, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting, on my dusty shelves once more part of my decor. This toy I absolutely hate, and still leaves me irate. Such is my fate, the plastic addict's constant chore. Staying addicted, so others can stay away, I swore. And thus I shall, forevermore.